Hello guys, I'm now in Monticello, Tuscany region, Italy. Very beautiful place. Um, this is a dream place for landscape photographers. So now I want to do a comparison on the camera on the Huawei Mate 20 Pro and comparing it with the bulky Canon 1DX Mark II. And I'm gonna be snapping landscape photographs on this beautiful landscape of Tuscany. So now I'm doing the setting on the Canon 1DX Mark II. There you go. So for the setting on the Huawei Mate 20 Pro, I'm going to be using the Pro mode to shoot on RAW. Okay now, let's go straight to Adobe Lightroom for editing. First, I would like to get the detail back on the highlight area here on the photo. So I will lower down the highlights and darken the whole image by lowering down the exposure of the image. Now I get a good detail of the highlight area of the photo. Next I will deal with the shadow area on the trees at the bottom of the image. So I will bring up the shadow. Now you can see there are more details on the shadow area on the trees. Okay now, I'm gonna slightly increase back the exposure of the whole image so it doesn't look so dark. Now the image still looks very dull so by looking at the histogram here at the top right, I'm gonna slowly increase the whites and slightly bring down the blacks and this will give a nice contrast on the image. Then again, I'm gonna adjust the exposure while still maintaining the details on both the highlights and the shadow. Now I will move to the colors. First, I will increase the vibrance. This is just my style and personal choice to make the image pop out even more. And then I will adjust the colors to be slightly more bluish since it's very cloudy. Then I will start adjusting the clarity to bring up more details to the image. So in this case, I will bring it to somewhere around 25 to bring up some details. And now I will increase the dehaze slightly around here to give more contrast to the image. Now let's move to the curve. I want to put more contrast on the image so I bring down the darks and the lights too, so that I will get more details on the bright clouds. Once I'm happy with that, I will sharpen the image by increasing the sharpening amount. If I increase it all the way up, you will see Lightroom will sharpen the whole image like this. Look at what it does. Pay attention on the edge of the trees here. Problem is, Lightroom is sharpening the whole image here, including the sky, and I don't want that. So what I will do is to play around with the masking and by pressing and holding the alternate button on your keyboard, you will see this black and white image where Lightroom will sharpen only the white area of the image. That's more like it. Now, if I zoom at the clouds, you will see some noise artifacts. So I will try to make it less visible by increasing the luminance on the noise reduction. Try not to increase it too much because this will eliminate the details of the image so increase it only until you reach a point where the noise isn't so prominent anymore. And lastly, I will check on the remove chromatic aberration, obviously to eliminate any chromatic aberration on the image. And finally now, I will export this image to a JPEG. And let's see it on full screen. So basically that's how I usually edit my photos in Lightroom. Now, when I compare the photos taken by Huawei Mate 20 Pro, comparing it with the Canon 1DX Mark II, honestly, I don't see much different under this kind of normal lighting. Both produce a lot of details, and keep in mind that Canon 1DX is only 20 megapixels, while the smartphone Huawei Mate 20 Pro is 40 megapixels. Alright guys, that's how I usually edit my photos in post-processing using Lightroom and a little comparison between uh, Huawei Mate 20 Pro and Canon 1DX Mark II. Of course, this comparison is only for landscape photography where I attach my wide-angle lens to my Canon camera. In overall photography, the Canon 1DX Mark II, which is the real camera, is much more versatile because I can attach my other lenses such as the 50mm the 85 or the 200mm zoom lenses. The Huawei Mi 20 Pro on the other hand doesn't have the capability to attach any zoom lenses but it's very small and light and it's easy to carry everywhere 
and this is a huge advantage. Be sure to subscribe to my channel as I plan to share more on how I edit my photos and videos soon, whenever I have the time during my travels. And lastly, check out some of the shots I got in the beautiful region of Tuscany in Italy. Thanks for watching, peace be on you.